Hey guys, welcome to the Christian Fitness Studio. I'm Ali, and we're gonna go ahead and get started with today's dumbbell workout. When I'm walking through the valley, your presence is All right, my friends, we are gonna move side to side, starting to bring that heart rate up and really just move our bodies. I hope you're excited to move today, excited to make a difference, make a change in your body. I love dumbbell days because we're toning and strengthening. I've got a set of dumbbells with me. Um, if you don't have any dumbbells, don't worry, you can still join me for this workout. Just grab a heavy book, your water bottle, your big old Bible, whatever it is that you would like to use to bring on a little bit of resistance. All right, let's take our heels to the glutes with a reach and pull. Breathe it in, breathing out. Today we're working in one minute rounds. So each, each move we're gonna do for a whole minute long. But the good news is, is you control your speed. So if you're new to working out, um, you might wanna go a little slower, um, do a few less repetitions. But if you are, you've been with me for a while, you really want a challenge, really the best way to get a good challenge first is gonna be to increase your weight. I always wanna encourage you guys to try to increase your weight. Reach high knee, reach high knee. You'll feel a huge difference, a huge improvement by just increasing your weight just a little bit. Do, do half a pound, you know, whatever it is. We, we don't wanna just be, Staying in one spot. We always want to be improving and coming back better than before. That's true, not just with our fitness, but with life. And if you want to continue to grow, continue to get better, then you've got to step out of that comfort zone. And so if working out at a certain weight level has got you comfortable, you need to stop. Let's go into a jog and move side to side. Breathing in, breathing out. Great job, you guys. Great job. Feeling good, hopefully feeling warm. Let's go forward and back. Forward and back. Great job. And we will stop there. Grab a little bit of water if you like. We're gonna move into our first move. So first things first, it's a wide squat. Feet are coming out nice and wide. <sighs> All right, go ahead and grab your weight. You can hold them up by your shoulders or down um, in between your legs. And let's get ready. We're gonna squat. Starting in three, two, one. Let's do it. Down and lift, down and lift. Squat and stand, squat, and stand. Super wide sumo squat. I've got both of my weights for this move. If your legs hopefully are good and strong. This is your other option to hold the weight down low, squeeze, and lift. Keep that chest lifted, breathe, and work through it. Good job, you guys. I thought I found the perfect shady spot working out right here and right here as soon as I sink down in my squat that sun is beaming in my eyes so it's very very wrong but that's okay it's still good to work out get that sunshine and move a couple more seconds down and squeeze almost there and pause great job you guys Lower your weights, grab that water if you like. Whew. All right, this next move is an overhead press. We're taking our weight, pressing it up. I'm gonna give you some options here to increase just a little bit. So I'm just gonna use one weight for my overhead press. You do what works best for you. You can absolutely use a weight in each hand. So we're gonna press and lower, press and lower, squeeze and push. Now, if you want a little bit more fun, take one leg back behind you, just barely lift it off the ground and press. That single leg adds in a little bit more work. 
Whew, let's switch it. Opposite leg back, lift it off the ground, and press. Single leg, overhead press. Breathe in, breathe out. Extend and push. Great job. Great job. All right, keep pressing. Finish strong a couple more seconds. Good job and pause. Nice work, nice work. All right, our third move is a forward lunge. So we're gonna hold our weights down at our side and you're gonna step forward, come down, back up. Make sure it's that downward motion, watching that knee. We don't want it going too far over that foot. So you need a big step. The way to avoid that is a big step forward. Grab your weights and let's do it. Forward lunge and back, forward lunge and back. Squeeze and lunge. I love these forward lunges mostly because it's just habit for me to do a backward lunge and so I can feel the forward lunge is a challenge and that's what we want to challenge our bodies and to push again it's called getting out of that comfort zone Whew. and coming back better than before keep breathing keep stepping you got it you guys keep fighting Whew. 10 more seconds almost there and breathe <laughs> my legs were real good and jelly at the end of that so it's a sign we're doing it right <laughs> breathe in Whew. breathe out great job you guys all right number four is a row with a high pull. Grab your weights, we're gonna do two rows, one high pull. So we're gonna row, row, stand up, high pull. Tilt, row, row, stand up, high pull. Squeeze, row, row, stand up, high pull. You got it, stand up, high pull. Squeeze with me. High pull. Let's go. Let's do it. High pull. Row. Row. Whew. High pull. Squeeze. Come on. Shaping. Let's do it. High pull. Squeeze. Squeeze. Ten more seconds. Work that, that back. Stand up, shoulders brace. Row, row, and release. Great job, you guys. Make sure you're grabbing water whenever you need it. All right. All right, this next move, we're doing some deadlifts. All right, I wanna make sure you're doing this controlled and correctly. So you're gonna tilt up the hips, Throw your hips back ever so slightly, slight bend in the knees, and we're coming down. All right, grab those weights, down and lift, down and lift. All right, keep that head in line with the spine, so looking down at the ground. Squeeze and lift, down and lift. Of course, look at my shirt. <laughs> I had to include this, this move. It says Jesus, the ultimate deadlifter. I've been on the hunt for all of the cheesy Christian teas. Can't help myself. It's perfect, perfect for these kind of workouts. Down and lift, down and lift. Squeeze and stand. You should really be feeling that in the back of your glutes. All right, 
and in the back of your legs. Down and lift, squeeze and release. Great job, you guys. Whew. All right, we're moving along, we're having fun, shaping our body as we do it. Our next move is some bicep curls. You can use one weight and curl or weight in each hand. This depends on what you have available to you. And then we're gonna add in a rotation with our curls just to give our core a little bit more fun. All right, get ready. So we're gonna rotate and curl, back center, rotate and curl, back center. Squeeze and center, squeeze and center. Work it and let's do it. Come on, squeeze and center. Curl, back down, curl, back down. Let's go, let's go. Almost there. Keep working. Keep those elbows close to your body. Three more seconds. Release. Whew, that's good stuff, right? Feeling it in our core, feeling it, of course, in our biceps. We want to be able to have strong arms flexing. All right, that was our sixth move. We're gonna repeat those moves. I'll give you some more options this time around. If you need to drop down weight, that's fine. The key is just keep moving, keep working those muscles, keep pushing them further than you maybe thought you could. All right, so go ahead and grab your weights. We're starting with a wide squat. Squat down and lift. Squeeze and sink. Again, you can hold those weights down low. Feel how that feels a little different. Shifting just where you're holding that weight. Squeeze. Whew. You got it. Keep moving. Keep working. Shaping it up. Feeling the change. Down and lift. Keep that chest lifted. 20 more seconds, you guys. Keep working. Keep hanging in there. That core is working here as well. We're squeezing. We're changing. Almost there. Five more seconds. And release. Whew. Good job, you guys. Good job. This means we are over halfway there. All right. Whew. Great job, you guys. All right. Move number two is that overhead press. Again, if you're feeling good, you want to single leg it. I encourage you to do so. All right, so we're pressing, squeeze, core is tight as you push. And then of course that option, one leg back, press. Adding that single leg just adds a whole lot more functionality to the move. You've got to balance, all right? Your core is squeezing and tightening and you're just changing. All right, switch your opposite leg back if you're doing that single leg. Whew. Push, press. Hang in there. Come on, come on. Let's take a knee up. So it's still single leg, but we've got a knee up. And switch it opposite side. Find that balance. Push, squeeze, release. Great job. Again, a simple move. We're just pressing, I even lower to one weight. But by adding in that balance aspect, you're changing the game, <laughs> all right? So just know any of these moves, you can adapt like that. You can change it up. All right, speaking of changing it up, next on the agenda is a forward lunge, but this time we're gonna do 
a backward lunge. We're working the legs in a whole new way just by changing the motion. All right, so we've got backward lunge and up, backward lunge and up. Notice you wanna get nice and low in that lunge. I'd rather you take your time and get low than speed it up with half, a half lunge, all right? We want that range of motion today. Sometimes we're going for speed. Today we've got the time, so we're really gonna push to get the range. Whew, big step back, coming down. Just keep lunging, just keep stepping. 20 more seconds. Let's do it. Come on, you guys. Fighting together. 10 more seconds. Almost there. Whew. And listen, if those were not challenging for you, <laughs> you need to increase your weight. I'll just say that much. All right, I just have with me two 15 pound dumbbells. Oh, and whew, it was a challenge, all right? So you do what you need to challenge your body. All right, number four, it's a row with a high pull. If you remember, double row, high pull. Let's do it. We squeeze, squeeze, stand up, high pull. High pull. High pull. Squeeze. Stand up. And lift. Whew. It's fun to work our bodies. It's fun to challenge our muscles. But remember why. All right, it's not just so we can look good flexing in the mirror. No, it's to live life we want to be able to use our bodies to the fullest they are a gift from the lord i'll say that almost every exercise video so we got to take care of them all right we got to push objects in motion stay in motion Whew. so we're moving today all right Whew. great job you guys great job two moves left Hang in there, we fight to the end. You don't give up in the last quarter. This is when you push and give it your all. All right, we've got our deadlifts. All right, we got Jesus with us, the ultimate dead lifter. No excuses. We just gotta move. All right, deadlift time. Get your form. All right, flat back is flat. Squeeze the glutes. Push your hips back, all right? So those hips are pushing back. This is standing. Now my hips are pushing back, all right? So squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift. Now if you want, single leg deadlift, all right? Pushing a little more. I think I can only do a couple of these, but do what you can. Whew. Switch legs. Single leg and lift. Single leg. I'm laughing because I'm all over the place. Squeeze. You got it, you guys. All right, 10 more seconds. You finish how you need to. Breathe and push. Let's go. And release. Great job, my friends. Great job. All right, one more. One more to finish us off. It is our curl and rotation. All right, so we have those arms out. It's kind of a wide curl, just so we can get the rotation in. And I've got big, chunky dumbbells with me. So a wider curl, but you keep your elbows close to your body. Feel free to switch to just one weight and curl. Oh, there's our timer. All right, curl and center. Curl and sensors. So notice I'm rotating as I'm lifting. That's really getting the core involved. Squeeze and lift. 
Chest lower down and lift. Let's go, let's go. Keep working it. And center, curl, and center. Curl and center. I'm dropping a weight. You do what you need to do. Curl and center. Curl and center. Keep moving. Keep pushing. Almost there. Breathe. You got it. And release. Whew. Good job, you guys. Lower those weights. Throw them down if you need to. All right, we are cooling down. You have earned it. We're good and sweaty. We're ready for a good shower. But our, even more so, our bodies are ready to stretch. All right, roll your shoulders back. Taking time to stretch is just gonna help protect your body. So don't skip on me right now. Our muscles are warm. They're ready to extend safely. Inhale, lift your hands. And of course, as we fold forward, I'm gonna share a verse with you. So go ahead and fold forward. And today our verse is found in Philippians 3.13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Let's go ahead and roll up. You've maybe, probably heard this verse before, but you know it talks about forgetting those things which are behind. Grab one foot, pull it back. It's not talking about amnesia, okay? We're not suddenly Christians with amnesia. No, we have to purposefully, intentionally forget the things that are behind us. That old life, it's gotta go, all right? We've gotta forget about it. Sometimes the hardest thing as believers is to move from a me-focused life to a God-focused life. You know, I heard that on Sunday morning and thought, so true. Oh man, most of my battles as a Christian now is me trying not to live for myself. Um, but this verse says, forget those things which are behind us. A life centered on me, that's old news, <laughs> all right? That's the old alley. I gotta forget those kind of bad habits. I've gotta lean on Jesus and say, nope, I don't live like that anymore. And you know, sometimes really, truly, our old life, those, those kind of things that creep up, it's not crazy big secret sins all of the time. If you're struggling with that, okay, we need to get a handle on that. But sometimes it's just, you know, I just get a little selfish. Um, you know, I don't want to do it because it's, it doesn't sound very fun. Um, it doesn't make me look good. Um, it's, it's hard work. You know, it's kind of like exercise. It's a little bit uncomfortable. Um, but that's not what the Bible tells us. We, we have to, you know, just like working out can be uncomfortable. We've got to keep growing and we've got to keep pushing. And we've got to keep asking God to lean forward again. Asking God to show us, okay, in what ways do I need to get a little uncomfortable? Forget that old life. Um, choose, choose to move on from that old life and live for the Lord. Let's go ahead and roll up. Shoulders, roll back. Hopefully you guys are feeling good. If you've got time to stretch out a little more, let's take those hips open them up, work on that mobility. I encourage you to stretch it out a little bit more. All right, and let's take some breaths together. Inhale, breathe in, exhale, release. Another beautiful inhale, breathe in, exhale, release. Feels so good, right? <laughs> One more big breath, full of fresh, fresh air, breathe in. And let's tend to leave as we exhale. Thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you're feeling good, you're feeling stronger. You can see how a little bit of practice and you improve, and you improve a little bit more each day, each and every exercise. It's the same with our walk with our Lord. We gotta get a little uncomfortable each day, but we look back the whole year and see how much God has changed us. Let's go out there, let's be light in a dark world. I'll see you next.